This is our special for Wavescape. Okay, so you've spent a lot of time in Australia this year, training and surfing, despite not knowing when this tour was going to start. How did you keep yourself motivated during this long stretch of time? It was interesting because at first my motivation was really high, but that's like, like it goes through kind of stages, like kind of waves or ups and downs. And so I was like training really hard, but also like my motivation is highest when the waves are good. And we had some good waves in Australia and then also we had some bad waves. So it was just managing that and making sure I was balancing it, having fun along the way. I'm um, just trying to balance the training and then the relaxation side of things. But it was, it was definitely good being over there, just um, doing some training with um, a few of my, um, some of the guys that I traveled with in the qualifying series, being able to surf with them pushed me. And then also working with Jay Thompson um, was, was um, yeah, it was good for my, just for, to, to carry on like learning and improving my surfing. Mm -hmm. um, I will say it was pretty tough seeing all the waves back in South Africa that everyone was scoring. That definitely made me green with envy, but um, yeah, it was just where I, like, it was where I was meant to be, I think, just with how everything worked out for the year. Yeah, they're always there for a reason. So yeah. you, you got some big results here in Hawaii for the last year crowd. Uh, would you say that you're feeling confident and comfortable starting the season here at Pipe? Yeah, it's always like in previous years, like coming to Hawaii has always been my favorite leg of the year. And so getting to start the year off in Hawaii now is um, pretty cool for me. I feel comfortable here and I really enjoy surfing these waves. Um, so. Yeah, I'm feeling positive and I'm excited for things to get underway. Very cool. Good vibes only. That's a good way to do it. <laughs> good vibes. Yes. And then um, as a rookie, which tour stop are you looking most forward to besides Jay Bay in your home? Oh, I was going to say Jeffrey's Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe Sunset Beach, just because that's where I've had some good results before and it's one of my favorite waves on the North Shore. So Sunset Beach and then Bowles Beach as well as an event I've always wanted to compete in because it's a perfect right hand point break and yeah, there's just lots of history there. I love it. And then um, who are you most excited to face in a heat for this competition? Oh my, that's a big question. Um, hopefully Kelly Slater if I get the chance. That's always a dream, get to surf against him. Um, yeah, that'd be cool. Awesome. And then um, my last question for you is, who would be your top three for your fantasy team for Pipe? I've put in, um, for my fantasy team, I've put in Gabriel Medina, it's my power surfer. And obviously it's John John, the local favorite. And then we've got Jordy Smith, Big Brew. He's He's got a house over here in Hawaii and he's been putting the time in, so I'm looking forward to seeing him um, performing out of Pipeline. You didn't pick yourself? Oh, I'm, I'm down there in TSC. Me and Morgan Siblick put us in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. I appreciate you.